They're going wild at the Coliseum. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Alone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. From Flushing, Queens, baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Matt Harvey, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's been throwing the ball really well his last three outings. In the last three outings, he's allowing just less than a base runner an inning. When you do that, you're going to win games. And that's the key to his success in the last three games so far. At the plate, Nick Markakis. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. A 1 1 now to Markakis. Mine to the right side and Markakis has got himself a base hit so it's an inning opening base hit and the Braves have a man on and next will be Dansby Swanson digging in he's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game he's set here comes the one one chopped weakly to the left Rivera scoops it up and indeed no look at second he'll go straight to first and take the shoe out. And now a moment to show you the lineup for Atlanta in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I think this team has to be hoping that Matt Kemp can turn it around. He's coming off a month where he hit in the low 200s. I mean, he barely put up any resistance at all. That's not what you expect for him. And I'm sure he's working hard to try to figure it out and turn things around. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Swinging away there, it's three and one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Well, Matt, and another thing, I mean, it's a really good team. We know that, right? I mean, they've already clinched the division. The question will be, how do you rest guys down the stretch to get ready for the playoffs? And that, to me, is more challenging maybe than the rest of the season on the calendar. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. A two-run blast off the bat of Freddie Freeman. Number 26 for him on the season, and it's given Atlanta a 2 to nothing lead. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. So here's Matt Kemp now. As we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. One and two, here it comes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Digging in, Sean Rodriguez. Showing some definite confidence at the plate right now, and his recent numbers are reflecting that. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Two out nobody on. 
swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. A two in the inning for Atlanta, both coming on this two-run home run. Home half of the first now from City Field. It's now 2-0 Atlanta. Bartolo Colon is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Outside, 2-1. and one. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Two and two count. Here it comes. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Kemp shading to his right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, I'm really going to have to keep a close eye on Brandon Nimmo. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making things happen. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Yeah. A high fastball is in there. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Now, Matt, Daryl Parker's one of those guys. You're going to take him to dinner. You know what he's going to order? Steak and potatoes. He is basic. He's going to make sure he does not make a mistake. No sushi, no lasagna. He's not going off the board. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Great execution. You hit Having it where it's thrown, right? That ball's thrown right, right up the way. middle. He hit it hey, right man. back up the middle. A lot of right. hits in the middle. Into the box now. David Wright. Hey. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Here we are in the first inning. We're watching adjustments be made after giving up that extra base hit. Now that's better location. He's going to have a better day if he does that. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground to third. Pro to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A little bit outside. 2-1. and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3-1. and 3-1. and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count that gets him excited. 3-1, and one, here it is. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close, so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Cologne looks back, now the pitch. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Cologne pauses. Here it comes on three and two. On the ground to the right side. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Well, he's definitely got everybody's attention. That base hit right there sends his streak to 13 games. That's almost two weeks of being in the headlines and swinging the bat pretty good. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. 
Two out, bases loaded. Oh, and it misses. Ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, it's been an absolute nightmare start of the game, and the nightmare continues as he walks in a run here in the first. The wheels are not completely off the bus, but they're definitely wobbling. We'll see if he can limit the damage going forward. As a look, now the pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Lined hard toward right center. Kemp is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Two strikes now from Harvey. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there. And that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. In now, Jace Peterson. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first down. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Michael Conforto. He's had to learn how to play on the corners. He was a center fielder in college. But now playing on the corners, he's had to learn all the angles. But it looked like he caught on quick. Standing in, Emilio Bonifacio. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. One out and a runner on second base. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time at first for out number two. Batting ninth. Digging in, Bartolo Colon. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Men on third with two down. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Great strand one. They still lead it two to one. Here's Juan Ligares. He's hitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, 
throw it over for a strike. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And I'm looking at Dansby Swanson, the number one pick overall a few years back. He is a heck of a talent. And you knew he was going to hit at that shortstop position. But that bat and his athletic ability, he can even move around the diamond for you different places. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Now another two two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit to short. Swanson scoops it up. Throw to first, and Cologne's looking good here as he gets two quick ones to start the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. TJ Rivera, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Cologne gets the sign. 1 1 pitch on its way. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Now here it comes. Grounded to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down 2 1. Digging in to try it again, Nick Markakis, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Ligares is under it. One down. So better. Ready for another chance. Dansby Swanson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a soft liner. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Stepping in now, Freddie Freeman, the knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Here's a drive out toward the gap in left center. Swanson is on his way home. The runner from first crosses the plate. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games, and he's a big part of it right here. That's his third it? RBI, and right they extend the lead in this ballgame. Standing in now, Matt Kemp. And that's over three and one. Runner at second here with one man out. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. That fastball right there will humble you. He threw it right by him. So now what do you do? You spread out, you use your hands, and try to be as quick as you can when you see that ball get released out of his hand. Throw on to first takes care of Kemp as he's turned away for the second out. At the plate, Sean now Rodriguez. Over for one here in the early Sean going. Sean Rodriguez. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3-0. Hey. That one's in there, 3-1. Hey, and one. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. Freeman rounds third and is digging for the plate. 
in to score the runner from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, Atlanta. which I don't Catcher. think is the best pitch anyway, Tyler. you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Into the box now, Tyler Flowers. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves four and the Mets one. Digging in for his second at bat as Dribble Cabrera as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will as it heads to the corner. A fair ball. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Now batting, first baseman, David Wright. Now to the plate, David Wright. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1-1 pitch takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hit in the air to left field. And therefore it is Markakis and that's your first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder, number three. Into the box now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. He drew a walk his first time up. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Outside, two and one. at a changeup that catches the corner. I like how he's mixing two two. up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. He's set. Here's the two two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bonifacio is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now with the plate, Wilmer Flores. He singled his last time up. Two out with the man at first. Come on. Takes a knee-high fastball. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. They trail it four to one. Striding in once again, Jace Peterson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. 2 and 1. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments, or if this start will continue to run downhill. Nimmo moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Center fielder, Emilio Bonifacio. Digging in the switch hitter, Emilio Bonifacio comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 4 to 1 our score as we play inning number four. And that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. Well, it's been a rough outing for him, and you see an example right there. A high the pitch, 40, another base hit. Bartolo, when he struggles, Bartolo. is when he keeps the ball up in the zone. Whew. 
in now. Bartolo Colon wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. To Cabrera for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One hits all they get. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Braves four and the Mets one. Stepping in, Travis Garneau. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And he lays oh, off for a ball, two and one. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And he set down one away. Now batting. Right fielder. Brandon. And here's the former first Nimmo. round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit in the air to shallow center. Bonifacio comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Center fielder number 12. At the plate, Juan Ligaris. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1 and 1, here it comes. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hopped up. Freeman is going to get there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Ready once again, Nick Markakis, a hit in two tries so far. A one and one count, here's the pitch. Line drive to center field, and Markakis has got himself a base hit. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He's one for two in the ball game. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, 2 and 1. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Got him. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Not Might have been it. sitting on an oh, off-speed pitch, but instead he Freddy gets the fastball Freeman. way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Freddie Freeman. Fastball called strike, one and two. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. In tight with the slider two and two. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Oh and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Now Kemp awaits the 1 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Conforto has a beat on it. And that's the third out. One left for Atlanta as they hold on to a 4 to 1 lead. Matt Reynolds will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. 
Number 15, Matt Reynolds. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. The next 0-2. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. A fastball that just misses inside. To short. Swanson brings it in. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, third baseman. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here it comes on one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Next pitch, number 72 for Cologne here tonight. In there, two and two. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. And he'll reach second now with one away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit in the air to center field. Bonifacio giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. First base for number five. Digging in David. once again, David Wright. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Cologne pauses on his way with the three and two. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. A cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Man, he turned on that fastball right there. Ripped the line drive and scored the, the run. Easy. Number 30, Michael Conforto. Into the box, Michael Conforto to two balls and two strikes now. Two runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Peterson fields it cleanly. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. Five innings complete. It's the Braves four and the Mets two. Rafael Montero takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 50, Rafael Montero. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Sean Rodriguez, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. And now pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. He'll try again, one, two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, catcher, 
Tyler Here now Flowers. is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Hit down the third baseline, and that's through for a hit. Well, the big fella hits the ball to the wall and they hold him to a single. Now, you know, we all know catchers can't run very well, so I can't jump on it for not having speed. Peterson. Into the box now, Jace Peterson. And here's a ball hit in the air. Darno has a play, two down. Digging in now and looking for more, Shadow Emilio Gilbert. Bonifacio. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. That's a ball. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Boy, man, I tell you, that looked like a good pitch right there. That looked like that pitch was in the zone. He just missed it. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And another foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Nimmo. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Brave strand one. As they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Riding in once again, Wilmer Flores. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Oh, my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 11 for him on the season as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Standing in now, Travis Darno. Soft liner towards short. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Two strikes on him and he flips one out in the center field. You couldn't have thrown that any better. Fielder, number nine. Brandon Demo. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And he's going to make a move here. That'll do it for Bartolo Colon tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Josh Colmenter takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. In now, Brandon Nimmo. Down low, two balls and a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Well, now he's falling behind three one, and all the pitches have been down. He's trying to get that double play ball, but the strategy has to change now, and now he's got to throw a strike. From the belt, the pitch. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Yeah. 
He's running towards second. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Marquecus has a read on it. Makes the play one away. The relay throw on to first, a double play. Center fielder number Here's two. Juan Lagares. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Mets draw a hair closer thanks to the solo home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh. It's now a four three ball game. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Seventh inning straight ahead with the Braves leading this one. But before we get it started, let's take a look there at the game summary to this point. Your Brandon Phillips please. is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here man. to start inning number, number seven. Brandon Phillips. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Ready on one and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. The two two one more time. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. This is fought off foul over to the right side. It's a ball and a strike. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And a swing and a miss there on a good pitch as Marquecas is retired for out number two. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Into the box, Dansby Swanson. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Chaz Rome will come on in relief now, and he'll be making appearance number 80 on the season thus far. Rome. Jose Reyes will pinch hit Number here, seven. and he's the potential Jose tying run. Reyes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a pop up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. Here's another 2 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Markek is coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. Well, they're starting to run out of time late in the game. That's a big leadoff hit. I know they're down one, but that starts the rally. Let's see how they manufacture the rest of this in. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base, and now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Two for three with a double on his line so far. The 1-1 one -one home to Cabrera. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Go, go, go. 
Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. Hey, 90 feet is a big deal when you're talking about a one-run game, so that's a little risky. But, hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. A two-and-two two count. Here's the pitch. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Blaine Boyer takes over pitching First duties, base, looking to get five. that final out now hey here man. in this seventh inning. Right. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Braves, number 48. Ready for another chance? Blaine David Boyer. Wright. His prior history in this matchup, four for 13. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A little bit outside. Two and one. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning. Braves bullpen does their part. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Braves four and the Mets three. Jerry Blevins has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jerry Levin. Freddie Freeman will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Uh, well hit by Freeman as this one's in the air to deep right field. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side and this is going to wind up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Digging in once again, Matt Kemp. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now Kemp awaits the 1 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. And there's one that misses to Kemp as he works it back to 2 and 2. 4 3 our score here as we play the eighth. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Again, he sends it out of play. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another try at 2 2. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Good performance thus far by the visiting Braves. They lead this one in the eighth as you get a look at our line score thus far. Settling in now, Sean Rodriguez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Bounce to first. 
Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Braves are set down 1-2-3, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Arotis Vizcaino is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Arotis Vizcaino. Digging in to try it again, Wilmer Flores. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Full count here it comes. Hit on the ground to short. Swanson picks it up. And he's retired one away. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ball game. Ready with two balls and a strike. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. And that ball's not intentional. That was not, not even a fastball. Relax, relax now, people. I know we get excited when the ball's up and in. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Kemp will look this one in for route number two. The right fielder, number At nine. the plate, Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. He could really Nimmo. use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Bonifacio is after it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Still down a run. It's four, three. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Ready with the one and one. Slap hard the opposite way. And there's a base hit, and this could wind up as an important insurance strike here as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. Up next for Atlanta. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jace Peterson. His career numbers in this matchup, one for four. Has a look, now the pitch. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. The batter, center fielder. Ready once again, Bonifacio. Emilio Bonifacio. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and one, here it is. And this is fouled at the plate. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Ligares is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Kurt Your Suzuki will grab a bat and hit for, for the, the pitcher break. here. Number 24, Kurt Suzuki. Swing and a rocket to third. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. One left for Atlanta, but they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Jim Johnson the takes the ball now in number inning number nine, looking to close the Jim door. Johnson. Here's Juan Ligares, his lifetime numbers against Jim Johnson, a three for five line to show for those meetings. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Yoenis Cespedes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 52, Yoenis
The 0 2 is a breaking pitch taken for a ball one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Curveball that time, not even close. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. But right at the shortstop for the second out. For the Mets. Third baseman. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. The big curve ball just misses, apparently. Ball two. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Hit softly on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Down to the final out. You get an infield single. Anything to cling on to a little bit of life. Let's see if this sparks the rally. Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera. His lifetime numbers against Jim Johnson. Just three for 14. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. That misses, and we're even at two and two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Come on, Got him swinging in the dirt. Flowers has it. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken the rubber match of this three game set as this ball game is over. Well it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game and it took six here to get the job done but hey they'll do whatever they can to get a W. And it's a 4 3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Atlanta Braves host road win number 40 on the year. Bartolo Colon picks up his team leading 13th win. Jim Johnson hammers down the save his 44th of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds Dan Pleszak and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more make your way on over to the shownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves four runs on ten hits no errors they left six that ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play.